So we just got some surprising numbers this past month here in the Boise housing market. So in this video, I wanted to give you four suggestions of what I would do as a full-time realtor here in the Treasure Valley if I was considering moving to Boise or if I was a first-time home buyer here in the Treasure Valley. But first, let me give you all the numbers so you can get an accurate understanding of where we sit right now here in the Boise housing market. So the big news this past month is the median price rose here in Ada County by 7%. It's currently sitting at $517,500, which is a $34,000 month over month price increase. Now that's the biggest month over month increase that we've seen over the past 19 months. Now year over year, we still are down. We're down about 13% from where we were last April. And here's an interesting chart that I found that I think shows the significance of this price increase. Have a look at this bottom row here. This past month, prices went up 7%. Last year at this time, we were, we were still seeing month over month price gains and the price rose only about half of what it rose this past month, 3.8% in uh, March to April of 2022. 2021 was one of the craziest years that we saw in real estate and the price only rose 2.4% between March and April of 2021. So this 7% increase really is pretty significant. It's one of the largest price increases that we've seen month over month in quite a while. Now, as far as where we've come since we peaked back in May, uh, the median back then was 602,250. Since then, we've come down about 14%. So let's break the median price down a little bit more. Uh, the median price for existing homes here in Ada County is currently $515,000. Uh, that's about a 9.65% decrease year over year. Uh, for new construction, there's there's been an even larger decrease, about a 20% decrease year over year. Currently, the median price for new construction is $519,990. But have a look at these green numbers. Month over month, the median price for existing homes rose 8.42%. And for new construction, that median rose 2.46%. So we're definitely seeing an upswing in the median price across the board, both in new construction and in existing homes. And the days on market also went down this past month, uh, came down from 72 days in March, about 24% down to 55 days at the end of April. Uh, for existing homes, that number is even lower. It's currently sitting at 31 days, it's down 30%, 32% from where it was the month before. It was at 46 days back in March. And new construction usually takes longer to sell a, a brand new home. So that number is at about 93 days on average, which is down from 106 back in March, which is about a 12% decrease month over month. Now this I think is related to the low supply that we have here in Ada County. So the month supply of inventory right now is at about 1.73 months, which is a slight uptick from where it was back in March. It was at 1.65. But have a look at this chart here to see where we've come over the past year. A year ago, we had about a 1.13 months of inventory. That number then tripled. Uh, leading into September. And that's when everybody was freaking out and saying, ah, the whole market's going to crash. We're going to get flooded with inventory. Since then, the inventory has been slashed in half. Uh, in February, we had a month and a half's worth of inventory. And since then, that number has creeped up just slightly. And as I said, we're at about 1.73 months. Overall though, sales have been pretty low here in Ada County, uh, down about 21% year over year. Uh, just this past month, we had 645 uh, homes, single family homes sold here in Ada County. And that's the lowest April volume of sales that I could find going back to 2012. And really that raises the question, why? Why are less people buying homes? Is it because nobody wants to buy a home anymore? There's a lack of desire. Is it because speculators are worried and so investors aren't buying anymore? Or is there a mass exodus from Idaho? What's going on here? And really the answer is affordability, right? Affordability continues to be the main problem in the housing market here in Boise and nationally as well. And what does that actually mean? 
the interest rate. And we really haven't seen any relief yet in the mortgage rate. Here's a chart that shows where we were last month as compared to this month. So uh, April 10th of 2023, the uh, mortgage rate, the average mortgage rate for a 30-year fixed loan was about 6.52%. Uh, just uh, yesterday, a couple days ago, that number was at 6.57%. So it's about the same. We haven't seen very much volatility in the interest rate over the past month. And so naturally, the question that everybody wants to know is what is going to happen with the interest rate over the coming year? So I did a bit of research and I pulled together uh, six different forecasts. Um, so here's what the chief economist of Freddie Mac, uh, Sam uh, Cotter, has to say. He believes that we're going to see a gentle decline in the interest rate over the course of 2023. Uh, NAR, the National Association of Realtors, is predicting a progressive falling of the interest rate down to 6%. Uh, by the end of this year and then into the fives, 5.6% uh, next year in 2024. Uh, the regional president of Compass USA uh, says that we are currently near the peak. Uh, we could be in the 5% range in the second half of 2023. And then I like this. Uh, the president says, but that's not guaranteed. As if anybody's guaranteeing their forecast. Zillow is predicting rate volatility throughout the summer. NBA, the Mortgage Bankers Association, uh, predicts that long-term rates have already peaked. And we, they say, expect that the 30-year mortgage rates will end 2023 at 5.2%. So that's quite an optimistic prediction. And finally, uh, Stephen Rinaldi, who is the Rinaldi Group president, says that uh, rates will begin to slide into the summer, beginning a slow but relatively steady lowering of interest rates. So overall, I think the general consensus among uh, speculators, economists, is that the interest rates are going to steadily come down or slowly or steadily come down over the course of this next year and then leading into 2024 as well. So let's have a look to see what's happening in Canyon County, Nampa, Caldwell, and beyond. So the median price actually went up about 1.27% this past month. Days on market, a little bit higher in Canyon County, usually is. Um, it's currently at 68 days and currently just a little less inventory actually in Canyon County. 1.6 months supply of inventory currently on the market. Now sales are down in Canyon County as well. Uh, down a little bit more actually, down about 25% year over year. Sales are down across the United States as well, down about 21% year over year. Uh, MSI though, look at this number. The month supply of inventory is down 40% compared to pre-pandemic levels. And I have a couple other interesting points to mention about the inventory as it relates to the entire U.S. housing market. Uh, the inventory today is currently 46% below the historical average that we've seen dating back to 1999. And that really goes back to 2008 when home builders really pulled on the reins and stopped building homes. And that's led to this shortage of housing that we've seen over the past 15 years or so across the United States. 85% of homeowners today have a mortgage rate that is below 6%. Now, the reason this is interesting is 85% of homeowners need motivation to list their homes. What is going to motivate them to sell their house and exchange a lower interest rate for a higher interest rate? And to me, that says that the inventory problem that we are currently seeing right now in Boise and in the U.S. housing market in general is likely not going to be resolved in the very near future. Here's an interesting statement that I found from Andy Walton, who's the VP of Black Knight, which is a real estate research company. Uh, he said that five months ago, we were declining on a seasonally adjusted month over month basis in 92% of all major U.S. markets. Fast forward to March 2023, though, and the situation has done a literal 180, with prices rising in 92% of markets since February. March saw a deterioration in supply among 90% of all major markets. So summarizing all of this, the Boise housing market and the U.S. housing market in general are facing a shortage of supply. 
So the question that I have for you is, what will this do to prices moving forward? Let me know down in the comments below, and as you go down there, hit the thumbs up button if this video has been useful in any way. So in light of all this, here's what I would do if I was buying a home here in the Boise housing market. First of all, I would be patient. Wait for the right house. You still can get a deal here. There is competition certain in certain price points, as I've mentioned and as you probably know from uh, some of my videos. Uh, but plan on spending two to three months to find the right house. You're probably going to offer a number of offers on several houses. Um, but but stay at it, be patient, and wait for the right house to come, come along. And then also pay attention to the days on market. People are willing to take less money. Sellers are going to be willing to take less money if it's been on the market for longer. So just wait for that right house to come along and you can still find a deal here in the Boise housing market. Second piece of advice that I would give is I wouldn't buy more house than I need right now. Now I've seen a lot of people buy homes over the years and I would say that probably the majority of people buy more home than they need. And this is especially relevant right now in the high interest rate environment that we are in. If you don't need four bedrooms right now, but you think you might need that four or five years from now, buy what you can afford right now. Interest rates are, are, are pretty high. And so you want to buy a house that you can afford not one that you think you will need several years down the road. And number three, I would expand my search to the outskirts of the valley. I would ask myself, would I be happy living here for a few years and maybe relocating later? The further west you go in the Treasure Valley, the cheaper the homes are going to be. So I would just plan, try to get into the market right now and then plan on just driving a little bit further each day for a year or two and then think about taking a lateral step later. It's much easier to take a side step than it is to take a step up and get into the housing market. Right now, prices have come down about 19%, so I would capitalize on that and then think about getting that perfect home maybe a little bit down the road when interest rates have come down slightly. And then number four, I would be cautious using a seller credit to buy down my interest rate as tempting as that may seem. All of the economists that I am reading are optimistic about where rates will be at the end of this year and next year. So I would check with my lender to see what the break even point is on a rate buy down. A lot of these break even points are three or five years down the road. And if the economists are correct, there's a good chance that rates won't be in that range at that break even point. So I would take the money and upgrade my bathroom or do something else that adds value to my house. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about real estate or living in Boise, please reach out to me. I would be more than happy to see how I can help.